head and lean to the side like T.I.P. It's not my fault the video is taking forever to upload. It's 1.23. My videos normally go live like between 12 and 2. Hopefully this one hurry up and finish and I can make it go live while I'm out and about. But honestly y'all, YouTube is taking a long time and this is a 43 minute video. But um, see. Y'all see it say pending like. And then I have to wait on them to check it for monetization. So, yeah, I don't get a vlog today, but it's probably going to be like 5 p.m. But I'm just letting y'all know. It's not my fault. <laughs> I did everything I was supposed to do. They did not. So, yeah. We have to wait on those folks. Let's see. Hey y'all, I just got home. Tonight I'm making some simple shrimp alfredo because honestly, <laughs> my cousin suggested and I was like, cool, I don't really care. Because I didn't really know what I wanted to eat anyways, but I'll take the alfredo. And she gonna go get some dinner rolls from Golden Corral. And then um, I'm about to make a pot of broccoli on the side. That way it's a full meal. And we ain't got nothing to worry about. Gonna get real, real full. I'm just sitting here. Put it. There we go. The pot is hot, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our half and half. So, <clears throat> um, I don't do measurements. Um, I don't do measurements, so this is one pint, so I'm going to use like a, hold on, Sorry, y'all. Okay. Let me start off by saying you're going to need half and half whatever seasonings you like. Um, these are the seasons that I use, but you know, whatever you season your food with to make it flavorful. You're going to need some grated or shredded Parmesan cheese. And then I like to add an Italian cheese blend just because that's what I do. You can do that as well. Don't mind my little mess up here, y'all. I'm cooking right now. 
I'm cleaning as I go, but I ain't clean up this area because I'm about to get it right back messy. So, you're gonna put your half and half in your pan. First, you're gonna need some butter. So, um, so about a tablespoon of butter. That should be good. Then you're gonna add in your half and half. And you wanna bring your half and half to a boil so that it can go ahead and thicken. Mm, let me see. Yeah, so that's one pint. And I'm gonna add most of this. That should be enough sauce. So we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then we're gonna come back. Oh yeah, and you can add garlic if you want to. I don't have garlic, so I'm not gonna press about it. But yeah, if you wanna add garlic, add garlic. But I don't have garlic. But we'll be back when this comes to a boil or a high heat rising. So I can show y'all how I finish it up. So I just added an accent and now I'm going there with some Y'all, what the heck? Tripod. Why would you fail me like that? So yeah, I just went in with some onion powder. Now the half and half won't be boiling while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my Parmesan. And just eyeball, I'm gonna say about a cup of Parmesan if you're doing shredded and like three to four big shakes if you're doing the grated one. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika to give it a little color, cause I don't want just want to put sauce. And then we're gonna add some Cajun seasoning, some spicy mama. Um, and then we're gonna add some garlic powder and some garlic and herb seasoning. And then a little bit of uh, chicken, chicken flavor. We gotta taste it. Okay, now that it's boiling, I'm gonna turn it down on low, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Italian cheese too. And I'm just gonna add like a handful of the Italian cheese like that that stops it from boiling and then we're gonna turn it down on low so now that it's on low we're just gonna keep stirring so that it doesn't scorch and y'all will see like it's gonna thicken up really really well still going still need to stir let it thicken up i'm gonna add a little bit more parmesan I didn't really add my whole what's the name yet. And a little bit more garlic pepper. Just because I want that garlic flavor. So y'all see how it's thickening up. By the time it's ready for you to serve, it's going to be extremely thick. Hold on. See how thick it is? That's how I make it on my hand right on. And we're just going to turn this on low and sit it to the side. It's on a different eye. Honestly, I can go ahead and add my pasta in now. Let's do that. Let's add the pasta in. Here's my pasta I just set up to the side and then y'all see how thick that sauce is. Yeah. 
So we're just gonna add in salt, I mean noodles, pasta. As we go, stir it up some more. I thought I was gonna have too much pasta and not enough sauce, but that's not what it's looking like today. That's what it's looking like. Y'all, this is so crazy because I did not taste this sauce today, and I normally taste it. I was like, bumping. We just gonna throw it off in them, cook them shrimp, and we gonna top the pasta with shrimp. We ain't gonna add it in now. So I'll see y'all when dinner is done. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> I'm coming on this vlog one day looking done up. But um, it's Tuesday and today is Taco Tuesday. So you know, we gotta do tacos. But we're doing them on a little healthier scale. In lettuce boats. So yeah. <laughs> We're doing them on a healthier scale and lettuce both. About to be so good, y'all. I'm so mad because hold on. I had some black beans, right? I went I left out the house after work and I didn't get back till 7 30. The black beans take 40 minutes to cook. So currently they're still cooking right now. Um but I really want my black beans on my damn tacos. But it's okay. It's all good, it's all gravy. I still eat the black beans or whatever, but yeah, that's dinner. It's Tuesday. I haven't seen y'all all day. How y'all been doing? How y'all day going? I'm finna eat and get in my bed on my iPad. I finally got an iPad. I'm so, y'all, I'm so happy about my iPad. So happy. Couldn't feel any better about it. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So I'll, excuse me, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I ain't seen y'all all day. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be a whole brand new bitch. I'm getting my lashes back. I'm never doing this dumb ass shit again with taking off my lashes because that's stupid. Why would I do that? I don't even know why I did that. But we're never doing that again. But I'm at my nephew's um, seven on seven game. It's with his like school against another school. <laughs> y'all see him back there. He want attention so bad. <laughs> but uh, we had his 707 game. Hopefully, it don't rain on my head. Don't say that. Girl, she got an umbrella. She'll let you borrow it. But I ain't done. That's why I wear a hat. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put some clips of the game in here. I'm going to have my cousin record for me because I'm not really good at recording right now. I don't even know what the hell is going on. I'm just like learning how to identify football. But let me go because y'all know it's copyright. And I'll talk to y'all throughout the day. Get my lashes done, but ooh, baby, 
it's supposed to be raining all weekend. And I'm not celebrating this weekend because honestly, y'all, I really don't celebrate holidays no more. Yeah, I be off work, but I don't really be like, oh, let's cook out and all that stuff. I don't be celebrating holidays for real. But the only thing I do um, be participating in, maybe Thanksgiving, I take my nephews and nieces trick or treating, but I don't be like, me personally, I'm not all into the holiday shit how I used to be when I was younger. And then Christmas. Of course, my niece and nephew still do Christmas stuff. But, like, collectively, our family as a whole, we really don't, we don't celebrate holidays. Like, we use those, hi, hi baby, stay in your lane. Because you about to come over, and I'm right here. And I would hate for you to have to get in an accident. Don't do that. Do not do that. People in Florida cannot drive, y'all. If y'all ever come to Florida, and y'all wonder why traffic be so backed up, where it's a wreck, people in Florida cannot drive. They really can't. And his big ass in his little ass car. I'm trying to figure out why so much traffic is on the 340. It's crazy. I'm glad I left the house early because I don't have time for this shit. Really, for real, for real. Um, but I told you I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm on the way right now. My appointment is at 430. It was at 6, but she moved me to 430 and I'm happy she did. So that way I can do what I needed. Get my lashes done and then go back, take my ass back home in the house and be on my iPad. Y'all, I've been. Uh, I've been playing my iPad since I got it. Like, fuck vlogging. I should have been got an iPad a long time ago because I'm obsessed with it. But the reason why um I'm talking to y'all, this is gonna be like a long little spill. But long story short, y'all, I really have not been feeling myself like a whole lot lately. And not in a bad way as to where, you know, like, I hate myself or something is going on. It's nothing like that. Mentally, I really haven't been there. And then I just haven't um, wanting to be around human interaction. And just, I just haven't been in the mode, in the mood for a lot of shit. Um, I don't know, like... I think it got something to do with me because I'm not moving this year, what I thought I was doing. Um, and then sometimes I do get discouraged from my channel because like um, people watch me. Like my my all my videos do very well as far as views, but it's like my subscriber count is like slow as hell. Like it's moving so slow to the point like Sometimes I don't even want to do this shit no more. But I know that I have an audience of people that love my videos and love when I post and, you know, want to see me. But I just feel like, you know, maybe this not my lane because I don't want to say it ain't coming fast enough. But I know I do need to post more because one video a week, that really ain't shit. I do need to be posting like twice a week, but I'm still not gaining subscribers for the for like my view count like my view count like my video i just posted on sunday it got 2k views in 24 hours how i don't know i really don't know but literally it hit 2k views in 24 hours i woke up the next morning my jump was at 1.5 by the end of the day i had already hit two 2k views 2,000 views on that video um and i think it's weird that i didn't hit 2k subscribers yet like i'm only pushing to 1500 and i think like that's crazy to me but people are watching my videos so um i'm gonna need y'all to subscribe so that's another thing that's been bothering me and then the first thing like i said like i just really haven't been you know feeling it like I don't know like I just feel like I had to take a step back I had to take a break back like I haven't really been in tune to social media um I had deactivated my Facebook for like the whole month of June I um just reactivated back but honestly I haven't even been on there because I don't know I just don't feel like you know being on there and stuff but um yeah like y'all I don't know hopefully you know it's july 1st it's a new month a new start um hopefully i can overcome what i'm feeling and you know just feel better mentally 
and stuff but that's really i know my channel really has been bothering me a lot lately but i'ma just think of it like this like i literally got almost 1500 people watching me i don't even really know 1500 people to be honest so uh yeah that's 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 a, that's a milestone there that, that's a milestone like i fuck with it it's a milestone for sure but i don't know i'm just ready for my channel to flourish and grow um y'all honestly i'm just ready to make social media and content creating my main source of income because i honestly want to take a break from corporate america i've worked in corporate america non-stop for the past eight years no i'm th i'm about to be 30 so 10 it ain't been 20 years because that means i'm 10 so since i was 21 to 30 so that's like 11 years so it's been like 10 years 10 years i worked in corporate america non-stop and sis is tired sis just wants to take a break and live her life how she want to live her life like i just want to wake up and do what i want to do like for instance if one day i just want to sleep in to the afternoon I'm granted to do that or I'm warranted to do that or if I just want to get up and go out of town for two weeks I can do that although I do work from home and I can pretty much take my job anywhere I just don't want to have the conscious of taking my job anywhere like I just want to get rid of my job for a while for like a few years and just you know just do me and do what I want to do and that's really um a main a, like a real main goal of mine is just to make content creating my main source of income who's to say like i'm not saying i'm just like oh no i'm not working corporate america no more i'm definitely still gonna work in corporate america but i just want to give it a break like i just want to give it a break i just want to you know i want to step into a different lane and that's why that's what made me take my youtube serious It's my head lean to the side like T.I.P. Coming live from the V.I.P. Nice like raw star could I leave? Feds in the state or she got beat or the rappers on she got beat. Y'all, it feels so freaking good to have my lashes back on. Oh, I'm finna talk so much shit, bitch. Wait till I get this head done. Wait till I do something to this head, bitch. I'm finna, bitch. I'm finna be talking so much motherfucking shit. Just. You ain't a bad bitch if you ain't got no lashes on. I'm just saying, y'all. But no. Bad, lashes, lashes make you feel like a bad bitch. It pull you up to the bad bitch. It fits the bad bitch genre. Like. Lashes, nails, toes, a good fresh hairdo, no matter what, no matter if it's braids, a wig, a quick weave, a sewing, leave out, closure. You're a bad bitch with a nice outfit, bitch. You don't even gotta be designer. Like you could just put you, throw you some little pieces together, put you on some shoes, grab you some accessories, and bitch, you're a bad bitch. That fits the genre. That's the genre of bad bitches. Everybody talk about that bad bitch, that bad bitch, that bad bitch, bitch. A bad bitch is not like it's not about labels. Dude. It's how you carry yourself. It's how you walk, how you talk. Do your presence take over the room? When you walk in the room, do people just okay? We see you. Cause if they don't do that, then you lose it. Cause let me tell y'all something. When I'm dressed up and I'm done up freshly, nails done, toes done, lashes, hair on point, I got me on a cute little fit. Bitch, it could be a two-piece that's some slides, ho, bitch. I'm gonna walk in and people are gonna be like, oh my God, you look so cute, girl. Where you getting that from? Da, da, da. Like, they feel me. They know, like, they know, like, yeah, that's the badass bitch right there. That's a bad motherfucker right there. And that's, that could, that could lose my rent. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm a bad bitch. And I'm gonna talk to her much. She, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I know y'all <laughs> I'm so y'all don't understand boo y'all don't understand these lashes is just it's a good time like I'm so 
happy to have that. Like, I just look, like, look how just happy I got off of getting my lashes done. But y'all know I love my lashes. I just feel like it make you look more put together with individual lashes versus having to get up every day and putting on a strip or, you know, whatever might have you. Like, my lashes to me is my makeup. That's why sometimes I really don't wear makeup. Or I just do my makeup to be extra because that's how I feel that day. That's how I want to, you know, that's how I want to rock out with my cock out. But, baby, if I got on these lashes, I need some lip gloss. Do my skincare. Bitch, my hair done. Oh, I'm cute. But me, turn, me like, filming my lifestyle and being a content creator, lashes is just, just so much easier. Like, it makes, I feel like it makes my content. It makes my content so look so good. So, yeah. So, staying with lashes on. Hey y'all, it's Saturday. We about to get in these streets. I just got on this little cotton two piece from Fashion Nova with my foam runners, my watch. Did I slip my hair back? Hold on, let me show y'all. I slipped my hair back, I got my lashes back on, so baby, we look put together for real. Got on my little earrings, and yeah. That is how I'm looking on this Saturday. I'm about to throw on some lip gloss, no makeup, no none of that. I'm about to get and run my earrings and do what I didn't do. I'ma see y'all in the car and out and about. So yeah, I paid in my prescription, but as I was leaving, my friend was like, she was in my area and stuff about my house. So I'm about to go back over here to my house really quick and meet her. But baby, I'm not staying because I don't know what the fuck she thought this was, boo. It's gonna be a hey and bye. See you later, cuz yeah, I'm not in these streets today. I need to go put some gas in my car while it's on the quarter tank. Cause um, I realize I can't let myself get down to eat. Which I ain't really drive this week, so the gas I have in here is literally from last weekend. So I'm just gonna have to add some more to it. Why I still at a good little reasonable amount, child? Yeah, I'm hungry. I don't know what I want to eat. I really kind of want to take myself on the sushi day because honestly, I haven't had sushi in a long time. But then I'm like, mm. I really want to go on the sushi day. Or do I just want some regular food? I really want to go eat somewhere new. Like, I want to try somewhere new. Maybe I'll try somewhere new next weekend. Let me look up some places and see who got new, who got what new restaurants or new things it is in the city. I know y'all probably can hear my L, but y'all, it's hot outside. This is the, like, living in Florida is all good, but y'all, that heat, child, 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 child. I still gotta go pick up my own um, online order from Walmart, because they say I got till tomorrow, so yeah, I need to get that today, and I need to get some razors from Walmart, so I'm going to get my razors, and then I'm going to park in the pickup thing and then tell them I'm there so they can bring out my Yeah, these people don't change the store around. This is the only razor I can find. I walked the whole personal care section and this and this was in the travel area. I don't know what Walmart got going on. I guess because people be stealing. I don't know what the fuck. But I cannot find no pack of razors. Which is so damn weird to me. And it just pissed me off because this is the only thing y'all got in the fucking store. Like, so frustrated, y'all. I'm hot because I just don't walk. And it seems like their air is not on because they redoing the store. I don't know. Let me hurry and get out of here before I catch your attitude. Okay, I'm done with Walmart. Walmart be the ghetto sometimes. And they done drastically went up on their prices. Like... Some of that stuff in there is giving Target vibe. You can't even do a price match no more. Because y'all know with Target and Walmart, you could do a price match with two stores. I know for sure, like, you could take Walmart prices to Target. They got the same item, but it's lower at Walmart. They'll give you it the same price as Walmart at Target. But it is so freaking hot outside. If you work in the sun and the heat, 
I'm gonna say a prayer for you. I hope you got your 24 pack case of water to work or a couple one liter bottles because baby the sun ain't playing with nobody. It's heat ain't playing with nobody. I'm on my way to the mall. See if I can find something for brunch. I got some options at home, but I kind of don't want to wear them. Um, so we just gonna see what we find out here. I had got me a little kiss with some water because I had ate nothing. Mind y'all, it's after two o'clock at this point. Cause what time it is now? It's two twenty-eight. It's after two o'clock. I don't know why this lane is so far back. Bad though like that. But it's it's two thirty. And I'm just getting some of it. Okay, guys, three thirty four. We getting somewhere. It's going down. So yeah, I got me a little kids meal, some chicken strips and some fries. I just ate chicken strips. I didn't really eat the fries because I didn't really want my fries anyways. I didn't want that shit, but I was starting to get a hunger headache, so I had to go ahead and um get some eat and stuff i hope it do not be a lot of traffic and y'all i did find the razors so y'all i think walmart up their prices and this is very logical because they up their prices because they basically paying for their security system like they got everything locked away they got the hygiene stuff in the little lift thing so you can hear the noise when it beat um they basically got cameras like this going down each aisle so like instead of like a camera being up in the ceiling no bitch they got the camera coming from off the aisle like it's dead smack in the middle of the aisle like on one aisle i seen two cameras so you mean to tell me y'all up y'all prices because y'all want to pay for y'all security system y'all then where the razors was at it was like by this locked away case first of all y'all they got lashes in a locked case lashes strip lashes it has to still and got that bad out here because <laughs> I am I'm just good I don't know I'm confused I, I I ain't real confused but child I don't know that's 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 crazy that's a little OD and basically where they got the lock lashes at in the case y'all why they got a goddamn register back though so baby, they say you ain't gotta take it to the front. The still, they're gonna put in a register back there. The boosters, <laughs> it's gonna have to find them a new hustle. Cause baby, they taking it away from them. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, they taking it away from them. Baby, they're gonna have to find them a new hustle. Cause one thing about the things for sure, Bitch, they ain't finna be able to steal shit out of these people motherfucking stores no more. These people is not playing at all. Like they really not. They really not playing. That's crazy. But let's go to the mall. I mean, after the mall, I'm probably going to my friend house who's day on the north side. It really depends on how long I be in Forever 21. Because we all know. I can go in the store and stand there for a long time. Y'all, Carolina Herrera got a new scent. And when I tell you that thing smells so good. So now I need me two new perfumes next week. I'm going to get Givenchy Irresistible. And I might get Carolina Herrera, good girl. But I might end up getting Gucci Floral because y'all, I thought Gucci Floral stank and it don't. Gucci Floral actually smells good. The one that's in the all pink bottle with the flowers on it, that one smelled good. I smelled it when I was on my way back from Mexico and I was under the impression that it stank. The lady let me try it on or whatever. And I had like a word on my way back home. And that shit smelled good as hell. So I might have to fuck with the Gucci Flora. Now I don't know who's selling. I'm gonna have to see if Ulta. I'm gonna do Ulta got it. I know Ulta got the Givenchy Irresistible Intense. That's the one I want. 
I just need me a little one ounce bottle of each. Just to have some something, something new in the, in the rotations. Cause I'm probably about to get ready to go through my perfume and everything I haven't wore or not wearing. I probably give to my nieces and nephews. My, nie my nieces and nephews. <laughs> I'm always talking because I give my shoes to my nieces and nephews. Depending on who could fit it, but I probably just give it to my nieces. None of my nephews were perfect. Disclaimer. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. <laughs> So yeah, it's this little icy place. And I stop by and got me one. I got a small, but it's still big for a small. The last time I came up and got a small, it was way smaller than this. Take a little picture. In case I need it for my thumbnail. Okay, let's go to my friend's house now. But it's looking like it's about to rain. <laughs> 